So in this video, I'm going to go through and show you an error that exists with the Play Framework at the moment if you're using Activator UI. So to demonstrate it, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to go into my folder that uh, contains my source code. Play Projects, and I'm going to type Activator New. I'm going to select to play Java and I'm going to do just test project, I'll call it, call it test, whoops, call it test project. And I'll go into that folder and if I type activator run, that should start up normally and we'll be able to access this in our browser in port 9 or on port 9000. So just give it a moment to update. Okay, you can see on the screen now, it's now listening for HTTP on port 9000, which means we can go into our browser and we can type localhost 9000, colon 9000, and it will sit there for a minute. That's because it's compiling the code, and we can see that that's working fine. So no problems, the application's working well. If we go back to terminal, you can see that it uh, compiled, thing, compiled the six scalar sources and two Java sources. So that's good, no problems. So I'll do a uh, control D to close it down. And now if I type Activator UI to use the Activator uh, user interface, just give it a moment, it does take a moment to finish. But the problem is here now, what it's doing is it's modifying the project, uh, the build file, and I think some other files as well. And what actually happens is it uh, actually causes the Activator run command to not be able to work anymore. So if I just go back, and stop this. Actually, I'll give it a moment now, just while it's loading the SPT configuration, Scala build tool configuration. So I'll just wait till it's finished. Well, as it turns out, there's an error there loading that configuration anyway, but if we go back here and if we close down, again, so we've now closed that down. Now if I try and do, go back to activate a run again, like so, we'll find that we get an error. And it's coming up now. And we're not uh, able to actually run. And if we go up and have a look, scroll up to the top of the exception dump there. No class default found. So what the problem is, if we go and have a look, firstly, the there's been a few things added. If we have a look in the build.spt. Oops. Like so, it's added some extra code in here, fork in run colon equals true. I believe that wasn't there initially. Uh, before we did the activator UI, that wasn't there. So the activator UI has gone in there and actually modified the build. And what it's also done, just having a brief look here, it's actually added a few extra things, like it's added the SPT UI, start script and a few other things. Uh, sorry, scalar build tool script. And anyway, the bottom line is it's not working. So. What I suggest you do in the interim until they sort this out to see what the problem is, is just use, create a new project from scratch. So again, if we go back and just see which folder I'm in. So again, the code would be you do an activate a new. Create your project as normal. So the option five and we'll just call it new project. We'll just go in there and have a bit of a look. We have a look at our build tool, our build script. You notice that uh, fork bit of code, that uh, that fork uh, line, line of code, isn't in there. That was in there that I just showed a minute ago. And also if we go into the project folder, there's a lot less in there, a lot less information in there. If you scroll up, you should be able to see what was in there before. There's all the files there, as you can see. So it's actually added a lot more files and uh, modified some things as well. So that's probably what's causing the error. So I haven't taken it to the stage of debugging exactly what the problem is. The bottom line is if you open the app, the project up in Activator UI, you will get an error. So again, my recommendation so is just to do an Activator, we Activator now run. Check my folder. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder, yep. Okay, go up one. Activator run. So I haven't gone into Activator UI at all. Uh, 
and that will start fine and we'll be able to access that on port 9000. See that's now started okay and we can go to localhost 9000 our application will compile and it will load as you can see. So bottom line is for now not to go into Activator UI with your project by doing so it's corrupts something or causes something to not work and at that point we're not able to use the activator run command and of course for the application we're building we use that we don't we're not going into activator ui so i hope this is very helpful to you and, uh, and that enables you to continue with the project